Hey now, uh, what are we doing here? We're doing a collection video. Yep, I wanted to do a some preamble, but uh, I'm afraid this video is going to go t a little too long if that happens. So uh, let's get right into it. How about a little bit of preamble? How about that? Um, I'm going to keep saying this uh, for as long as I'm doing these collection videos. I'm not claiming that these are all... Uh, that this is an extensive collection. I'm not claiming this is, you know, an an oh so great collection. I know there are collectors out there. If they woke up uh, with my collection, uh, they'd be so distraught they'd jump out a window. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, I'm all I'm saying is that this is my collection and I'm just showing it off. All right, and I'm not done with the Marvels uh, yet from N through Z. Uh, just nothing's in order, so I just kind of have to, you know, get, just get things, um, I just have to get things in order um, before uh, I finish off that collection, finish off showing that collection. All right, so we're going to do uh, DC uh, A through uh, C, and uh, I noticed that there's not a lot of C's, like like real key issues that I have that begin with the letter C. So uh, we're gonna start with, um, we're gonna start with C, how about that? I'm just gonna knock those out real fast. And we're gonna start with uh, Catwoman number 51. Uh, definitely the uh, the money book in the series. I believe this is the, I believe this is the second volume of Catwoman that uh, started up in uh, 2003 with, um, with uh, Ed Brubaker writing. But um, I know I bought this back in 2006 when it first came out, and uh, uh, I, I I I mean I thought the cover was great, you know. But like I read it, put it away, didn't even think about it, and then um, I think like two years ago, I noticed the increase in price on this book, you know, and it's always missing from like a back issue bin at a store, and I'm just like, well, what's going on here? And then uh, come to find out. You know, you have the lost numbers um, in the uh, in the uh, mug shot with uh, Catwoman, and I was going through my old Wizard magazines uh, just yesterday, and I came across this. This is from 2006 as well, around the time that this came out, and you have Adam Hughes, the cover artist, talking about it, and uh, he said it was uh, uh, an idea from his girlfriend. And then he needed, you know, numbers for the mugshot, and that's how that came up. That's how that came about. So uh, I figured that was uh, interesting enough to me. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm glad to have it. <laughs> I'm glad I already had it, and I didn't have to look for it. How about that? All right, let's do a little bit more Catwoman here. I believe this is from Volume One of the Catwoman series. Ugh. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, here's some uh, Harley issues. Uh, stay tuned later on in the video. We're going to be doing a nice little Harley Quinn spotlight. Um, we're going to be uh, showing off some early appearances and all that kind of stuff. All right. That should, that should be a good time. Uh, Catwoman number 82. That's uh, Harley Quinn in the, in the uh, on the cover right there. Um, number 83. 84 and 89. I don't think these books are really, you know, worth all that much, but they're always missing from uh, back issue bins, you know. They're not that expensive, but uh, just relatively uh, tough to find. And here's a couple of books. I mean, well, here's a book that really isn't that expensive, but it's just a matter of time. Captain Adam number one. First appearance of General Elling and the first appearance of Captain uh, Nathaniel Adams. That's a, is that his name? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But um, I mean, you could find this in the dollar bin. You know, probably the most you should probably pay for it is like three bucks or two. You know, but uh, again, like I said, it's only a matter of time before this character you know blows up a TV appearance. Um, uh, uh, movie appearance, you know, just anything outside, any form of media outside of comics can uh, literally just kind of blow this book up. <laughs> you know what I mean? So 
uh, be on the lookout for uh, Captain Adam number one. All right, I think we're done with the C's, <laughs> so let's jump right into A. Um, let's go with let's go with this right here. Uh, Absolute Vertigo, number one. Um, it has a preacher preview in it. You know, not major. I think this. I think before the announcement of a uh, preacher se uh, TV series, I think this was like a dollar book. I believe this is around what a twenty dollar book now. Uh, let's go with some, let's go with some reprints. I've got reprints. <laughs> reprints. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I got reprints. Uh, Action Comics number one. Uh, uh, these are from, these are 1988 reprints. Yeah, how many of these do I have? One, two, three. And this one without the, uh, without the, uh, uh, barcode um, section is uh, from 1992. Uh, they I, they go for around 20 a piece. Uh, I wanted to go a little bit in depth with uh, each book, but I I have a feeling that'll just really zap a lot of time. So we'll just kind of try to uh, power through things. Uh, Action Comics uh, number one. There's Millennium Edition of uh, Action Comics number one. Um, I like this one a lot, uh, just because, I mean, the first appearance of Superman is only a five-page story, and that's pretty much what you get with these, um, the 1998 and 82, re 1988 and 92 reprints, but this one, it has everything, you know, it has, uh, the Superman story, it has, uh, a Zatan, uh, a Zatara story, it has a Slam, ba Slam Bradley uh, you know, Scoop Scallion and all that kind of stuff. It has all those other stories uh, mixed in. So uh, this is probably the one to get. Uh, this is the, uh, the the fun book to me. If you want, like, if you want... Uh, you know what, let's keep going. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. You know what I'm talking You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Action Comics 252. Uh, first appearance of... Uh, well, this is the Millennium Edition. It's a reprint. Um, a Millennium Edition of uh, Action 252. Uh, reprinting the first appearance of Supergirl. Um, now we're getting into some live comics here. Uh, instead of reprints, uh, Action Comics 340, first appearance of Parasite. Uh, really uh, undervalued book, in my opinion. I picked this up. It's in fine condition. Got it for, uh, like, I think less than $15. I think I probably paid 9 for it. You know, but it was really, really, really cheap. Um, for what it is, you know, it's a Silver Age first appearance of a of a um, of a Superman villain, a major Superman villain, in my opinion. And uh, also, if you buy this book, make sure it has a pinup um, in the middle of the book of Superman. So make sure it has that. Contact your eBay seller. Uh, uh, look through the book if you're at a shop. Action Comics um, 419 first appearance of the Human Target. Action Comics 440. Uh, first, uh, first off, the uh, the uh, the uh, the action comics section of my collection is paltry. All right, so um, uh, was this action 440 first Mike Grell on Green Arrow? I really didn't know that was a thing. Um, action comics um, 485. This is a Whitman variant. Um, Neil Adams cover, classic Neil Adams cover. How beautiful is this freaking cover? Love this cover. All right, uh, let's see. Did not realize I had so many copies of this book right here. I have four copies of Action 521, First Appearance of Vixen. I don't think I paid more than a dollar each for these books, honestly. I, uh, probably like three or something like that, you know. Maybe three at, maybe three at the most. I'm, that's what I'm thinking. All right, let's see. Action... Um, uh, was this 544 um, not necessarily an expensive book at all by any means but I believe just a matter of time uh, first appearance of um, uh, Lex Luthor in his uh, power armor and first appearance of the robotic brainiac uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. action uh, 595 first appearance of silver banshee again not an expensive book by any means but only a matter of time. 
Uh, here we go. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this book goes for, honestly. Um, action, uh, 683. Got two copies of this. Uh, first cameo appearance of uh, Doomsday. Um, I know November 92, you had all those um, issues, those Superman issues where you had uh, uh, Doomsday on the final page uh, kind of pounding. All you see is a fist of Doomsday pounding on the door. So I'm not quite, I said, again, not quite sure what these go for, but uh, really good to have if you're a Doomsday completist. Uh, what is this? Action! Uh, 765, uh, uh, really, again, not that expensive of a book. I'm kind of surprised by that, honestly. You have, um, you know, Superman versus the Joker and Harley. So, uh, another book, not that expensive. Action 725, first appearance of Volcana. First appearance of Volcana, I believe, I believe so, but but look it up for yourself, all right. But what I found um, was that the first appearance is in there. But look it up for yourself, though. Uh, action seven seventy five. Uh, first appearance of Justice League Elite. Oh boy, we got two copies of this. Uh, action eight thirty five. First appearance of Livewire. And uh, regular DC continuity. All right. Now, I swear I had this book before. Uh, this is Action Comics uh, 869. Uh, now, this one is the recalled edition because, uh, let's see if you can see that. Superman is drinking a beer with his dad, and that is a no-no. No drinking beer. And the uh, subsequent... Prince of this uh, shows him uh, drinking soda pop, soda pop. So uh, this book here is uh, goes for a little bit of scratch. It uh, goes for about mm, I want to say around sixty dollars or something like that. Um, yeah, yeah. But I swear I had this book because I was buying like the run of uh, Jeff Johns, Gary Frank uh, action comics, and I and I think I sold it off. I'm pretty sure I sold that off. And I, it had been just, just driving me crazy, um, you know, not knowing if I had it or not. So, but I bought this for like 20 online. So, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, boy. Okay, Action Comics, uh, 894, first appearance of death in um, um, DC Comics continuity. Okay, now we're done with the action. We're getting to the adventure. Um, Adventure Comics 428, first appearance of Black Orchid. Just, a, you know, just an overall good book to have. I, I noticed this book is a little tough to find. Um, you know, again, not, I don't think, I really don't think it's that expensive. I paid $15 for this, and this is in probably VF shape. But uh, not that expensive, but, you know, just kind of tough to find. Uh, some more adventure. Um, 452, uh, the death of Aquaman's baby. And we find out that Black Manta is a brother. Um, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Was this an expensive book? I don't. I can't remember. I just know it was really tough to find when I was looking for it. All right. Uh, Millennium Edition, um, All-Star Comics number eight. Uh, reprinting the first appearance of uh, Catwoman. Um, Jeez. First appearance of Wonder Woman. Now, this one, um, again, I mean, again, but since the first appearance of Wonder Woman, you know, the actual comic is kind of out of reach for uh, many collectors. This is the next best thing. And I'm noticing that this book here is going up in price by a lot. I, bu I paid the, like five bucks for this um, like a couple years ago. And, um, this book is already like around a $30, $40 book, you know, so, yeah, if you can find a uh, Millennium Edition, like Millennium Editions, uh, the price on these go all over the place, you know, like you might be paying like around five for one and then 30 or 40 for another, you know what I mean? It's, it's kind of all over the place, but this one is consistently uh, around the $30 book, so yeah, 
just good book to have if you don't have yourself a uh if you don't have yourself the real thing okay uh all star comics number fifty eight now this is the real thing this is the first appearance of uh power girl um it's in really nice shape i have to say i paid like uh, da, 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 20 bucks for this a couple years ago um i would love to be able to upgrade this because there's like a little itty bit there's like a little tear like that like a little tear like that on the back cover that's driving me nuts so i would love to be able to upgrade all right we're moving along um <clears throat> all-star comics number 69 first appearance of um the huntress now you have DC Superstars number 17, and you have this book right here. Now, uh, I, I think, I believe they both came out on the same day, all right? Uh, either, you know, like same month or same day or something like that. So um, if you're a Huntress completist, have DC Superstars 17 and have this book, all right? So it says introducing the huntress. So I'll get. So I'll say that this is the first appearance, and I notice this book is going up in price. All right. So definitely with uh, definitely look out for uh, number sixty nine if you don't have it. All Star Western uh, number one. Is it just me or does this guy look a lot like the actor Martin Sheen? Okay. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Oh. I man, I woo, love this book. Um, All Star Western number ten. It has been an odyssey trying to find this one, man. Mm, I love this book so much. Absolutely love it. Bought it when I first bought it. I got it slabbed, seven point Broke it out. Hell yeah. I think I to, it, it was like one fifty for a seven point I mean, even a raw one will be uh will cost you more than that so i'm just like you know what man let's break it out um all-star number 11 really bright yellow cover oh beautiful really beautiful all right oh yeah okay let's get into some aquaman action uh number 11 uh first appearance of aquaman's uh main squeeze mara I got two copies of this. Sweet. Uh, Aquaman number 29, first appearance of Ocean Master. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, I really had no clue that I had so many copies of this one. Um, you have, what is this? Uh, Aquaman number 35. Let's see. I got one, two, got four copies of this bitch. Four freaking copies. But this one doesn't count because it's really beat. And, uh, but these three count. Uh, I believe this one is in, gotta be, uh, VG plus to find, VG plus to find, uh, probably VG plus to find. Or a VG plus, I don't know, but I got three decent copies. But I would, I would gladly trade two for a uh, like higher grade copy. And I was tracking an eBay auction um, a couple of weeks ago, or about a week ago, and they had this book, this book, and this book, and probably not in much better shape than these three. Just these three alone, just these three books, and the auction ended at three hundred and thirty dollars. So these Aquaman key issues are out of control right now. So if you can find them cheap, go on ahead. I I was lucky enough to find these, you know, at decent prices. Um, I, I think I paid like maybe, you know, probably the highest I paid was probably thirty five for any one of these. Okay, we're moving along. We're moving. Ooh, more Aquaman. Uh, number forty-two. Paid three bucks for that uh, at a convention a few months ago. Really happy about that. And you know, you know okay, we gotta we gotta move along. I don't want to pontificate too long on these books. Uh, Batgirl Adventures number one. Uh, Batgirl. 
Um, I, I forget what series this is, but uh, just pay attention to the cover. This is a, a money book in the series. Um, goes for like what ten or fifteen. Just be just based off of the cover alone. Um, and a, another volume of uh, Batgirl. Here's number twelve. Um, art germ cover. Um, another art germ cover, number fourteen. Uh, real these these books are really tough to find. All right, now we're getting into some uh, Batty Man. Oh yeah, uh, Millennium Edition reprinting of uh, Batty Man number one. And uh, now this was the Chromium cover, and um, I, uh, price is all over the place on this one, from like nine dollars to like you know twenty to thirty. It all depends on the day. All right, got myself two copies of uh, Batman uh, number one eighty one. A uh, copy of Batman number one eighty nine, first appearance of Scarecrow. Uh, Batman two hundred, love this cover. I'm so glad I have like a nice high grade copy because every copy that I've seen has been like like just super brown and just that. Eh, this is nice and bright. I love this one. Uh, here's a book, uh, Batman 222, uh, this one has, like, water damage on the back, and this one has, like, a staple pop right there, so I would love to be able to upgrade this book at the right price one day. Um, uh, Batman 227, Batman, 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 okay, uh, what is this? Batman uh, 234, first Silver Age, well, first uh, uh, modern appearance of, um, of um, Two-Face. Uh, Batman 232, first appearance of Ra's al Ghul, of course. I believe this is the second appearance, uh, uh, 235. I love this cover. Love the colors on it. Love the colors on this one. Awesome cover. Uh, Batman 237, first appearance of the Grim Reaper. Oh, yeah. Uh, Batman 241. I don't think there's anything major with it. Just a really classic, beautiful cover. Um, second uh, cover appearance of Ra's al Ghul, Batman 244. First appearance of Arkham Hospital, which later becomes Arkham Asylum in... Batman 258. Oh my god. Easily one of the best Batman covers. Easily one of the best. Um, easily one of the best just covers in general of the Bronze Age. Uh, we have the first. I would. I, I could. I, this is my personal opinion. This is the first modern appearance of the Joker. All right. Before that, he was like, you know, like a little trickster, like a little, you know, mischievous guy. And um, he comes and in, jumps into the Bronze Age and becomes just like the murder, just a murderous, you know, psychopath. Oh, I love the Joker. Love this cover. Uh, uh, Batman 286. Batman 291. Uh, two copies of Batman uh, 293. Batman 300. Great looking cover. Uh, Batman 307. Uh, first appearance of Lucius Fox. What we got here? What we got here? Uh, Batman 318. Uh, uh, first appearance of Firebug. Whitman variant right here. Come on. Okay. Uh, Batman 321. Jose Luis Garcia Lopez did the cover art. Did the cover art on this? Oh, gorgeous cover, man. Gorgeous cover. Beautiful colors. Uh, Batman 330. Uh, Batman 345. Batman. Uh, what is this? 353. Great Joker cover. Jose Luis Garcia Lopez did the art. Okay, here we go with this. Book right here. I got how many copies of this do I have? One, two, three, four. I got four copies of the first appearance of 
uh, Jason Todd, the first appearance of uh, Killer Croc, Batman 357. And got two copies of Batman 358. Uh, this I, be I believe I believe I believe uh, this is the first uh, full appearance of Killer Croc. I believe, but don't quote me on that and look it up for yourself. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, Batman 359. There's Killer Croc on the cover. Batman uh, 363. First full appearance of Nocturna. Natalia Knight, um, Batman 366, got two copies of the first time uh, Jason Todd becomes Robin, uh, Batman 368, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, mm -mm -mm. Uh, what is this, what we got here, I was buying these up when they were cheap as hell, um, Batman 386, first appearance of... Um, First appearance of the Black Mask. Um, Batman 387. Black Mask appearance. Uh, Batman Year One, number 404. Uh, got two copies of this. Uh, Batman number 417. First appearance of the K. G. Beast. K G B S. T. All right, uh, come on. These things don't want to stay put. These bo these books. Um, two copies of uh, Batman four twenty three. Woo boy. Uh, uh, what is this? Uh, Batman four twenty eight. Love this cover. Love this cover. Tremendously love this cover. Death of uh, Jason Todd, of course. Oh boy, so many books, so many books. Yeah. Okay, uh, Batman four fifty and four fifty one Joker covers. Um, I, 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 are they relatively tough to find? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just glad I have it. Okay, Batman four seventy five. Um, what is this? What is this? Uh, first, uh, Renee Montoya. Um, Breaking of the Bat, four ninety seven, uh, Batman uh, five sixty seven. Uh, got two copies of that. First appearance of Cassandra Kane, uh, J. Scott Campbell cover. J. Scott Campbell cover five sixty three. Uh, ooh, I'll tell you what. Okay, back in nineteen ninety four, I had become horribly disillusioned with comics, all the gimmicks, all the bullshit. Um, on top of that, um, early, early, early 1994, um, got out of comics. Um, I was on the cusp of turning 16 at the time, so I'm just like, comic books is kid shit. Um, I was done with comics. And then in 2002, um, I found out that uh, uh, Jim Lee, was, who was my favorite comic book artist, despite all... Um, um, uh, he was going to be doing a arc, a story arc, or a, or a run on Batman. I freaked the fuck out. This is the book that got me back into comics right here. This is the book. So, uh, if you want to know, uh, the origin of Mercy, <laughs> oh God, I hate, I really can't stand my name, but, uh, my screen name, but, uh, if you want to know the origin of me, uh, you can be traced back to this book right here. Okay, and um, here's the second print of that, and uh, paid ten bucks for that. Really happy. Um, uh, Batman six twelve. Here's all these hush issues. Uh, yeah, you don't need to see all those. But uh, Batman six twelve, uh, second print of six twelve. I paid twenty four bucks for this ten years ago. Uh, six nineteen villains cover. Six nineteen second print. Ah, uh, here's a book that's uh, worth a little bit. Uh, uh, Batman 635. I noticed this one is like around, what, a $20 book. First appearance of Jason Todd as the Red Hood. All right. I noticed that I, I noticed that book is going for a little something, something. Uh, here we go. Uh, first appearance of Damian Wayne. 
uh, Batman 655 uh, regular cover and the uh, variant to this. Beyond, if you can, try to find the variant for this. All right. Uh, what is this? Batman 666. Uh, Batman 7... Uh, 13. This is the last issue before it jumps into the new 52. And I tell you what, let's go with uh, Batman Annual number 25. Very, very, very undervalued book. Uh, Origin of the Red Hood. Okay, now let's get into some uh, Harley Quinn, shall we? Let's get into it. All right. Um, Batman Adventures number 12, of course. Uh, the first appearance, real. Oh my God! So happy to have at least two copies of this. Really happy. Yep, really happy. Super happy. Uh yes, sir. First, okay, again, first appearance. Um, let's go with the second appearance of Harley Quinn in comic books. Um, Batman Adventures, Mad Love. This is a sixty-four page special. Uh, yeah. Don't sleep on this book. I know this this book is like what around uh what a sixty six sixty something dollar book, and there's also a second print of this. Okay, and here's the second print. Actually, I kind of like the second print of this way better. But um, look out for this and the third and there's there is a third print. It looks exactly like that one. So let's let's, let's keep moving. Uh, third uh, so second third appearance is in Batman Adventures. Annual number one, right there. I told I, I told y'all about this book like back in October of uh, 2013. I hope y'all listen. All right, uh, Batman Adventures Holiday Special number one. Um, she, her, and um, uh, Poison Ivy. They're in this book. Uh, Batman Adventures number 28. Okay, let's get with um, let's get with this book right here, uh, Batman uh, Harley Quinn. Now this is the first appearance of Harley Quinn in DC Comics continuity. All right, so before that she was n she was never in like the DC Comics world. All right, and this book is around a hundred bucks now. All right, second appearance, a second appearance in DC Comics continuity. Um, uh, Batman number 570. Got myself uh, two copies of that. All right. Now we're just kind of going along with... Uh, now we're just going with uh, appearances of Harley Quinn. All right. Nothing chronological here. Um, Batman and Robin Adventures number eight. There she is right there. Hey. Uh, Batman Gotham. And, and these aren't all of her uh, appearances. I'm just showing the ones that I have. That begin with the letter B. Uh, Batman Gotham Adventures number 10. Batman Gotham Adventures number 43. Love that cover. Great looking cover. Number 45. I like this cover too. Nice little nice little jam cover. Is that what is that what it's called? A jam cover? Batman Adventures Volume 2, number 3. This book is uh, uh definitely um, on the rise. Easily, easily a uh Easily a $50 book right here. Uh, the Wedding of the Joker and Harley. Uh, Batman Adventures Volume 2, number 16. Uh, Harley and Ivy, uh, number uh, 1 and 2. I'm still trying to find number 3. Okay, let's go with some uh, some uh, some more Harley appearances. Uh, the Batman Strikes, number 35. Batman Strikes, number 41. Number 43. And number 45. So I believe we are all finished up on Harley appearances. Um, Batman Adventures, Volume 2, number 10. I know this, this book is around, uh, I want to say around a $10 to $20 book. I think just based off of the cover alone. I, I do like dig the cover. Um, Batman Adventures, Volume 2, number 15. Uh, Batman Beyond, number one. Man. Uh, ooh, that book is that book was so tough, 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 tough to find. Okay, uh, we're moving along here with I uh, got myself two copies of uh, Batman Family number six, uh, first appearance of uh, the Joker's daughter. Ooh, these are nice high grade copies too. Hell yeah, good for me. 
Good for me. Uh, Batman Family, number nine. Uh, Batman Shadow of the Bat, number one. This is the bagged edition. Uh, Batman uh, Danger Girl, number one. There's a uh, J. Scott Campbell cover, and there's Harley just totally covered up by the UPC. That's a shame right there. That is a horrible shame. Okay, uh, Batman uh, Return of the Dark... Dark Knight Returns, number one. Uh, bu -bu 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 number two... Number, where's where number three? Number three and number four. Got the complete set of that. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Let's go with uh, Batman in Darkest Night. I noticed this book might, is around a $20 book, I think. Um, Batman, The Killing Joke. Uh, Batman, Thrill Killer. Uh, Batman, Superman, uh, Adventures, World's Finest. This is based off of the uh, animated uh, first meeting of... Uh, you have the first meeting of the animated uh, Batman and the animated uh, animated series uh, Superman. Oh, my God. I love that. Uh, uh, love that movie so much. Loved it. Okay. Uh, Batman, Vengeance of Bane. Hell, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I remember paying, like... Five bucks for that. Uh, Birds of Prey, number one. Birds of Prey, number eight. Uh, I paid 25 cents for this book. Oh, that, that easily one of my greatest stealth buys right there. Uh, Black Lightning, number one. Uh, how many copies of Blue Beetle do I need? Really? Ugh. Um, number Blue Beetle number one. I have quite a few copies of this one. Don't be mad at me. Um, uh, Booster Gold number uh, yeah, Booster Gold number one. I got one, two, three, four, five, five copies. I don't think I paid more than two two bucks for each of these. All right, we're moving along. Brave and the Bold, baby. Now we're getting into some. Now we're getting into some grits. Uh, uh, Number 60, first appearance of Donna Troy. Oh, how did I forget this one? Uh, got two copies of that. <clears throat> uh, uh, Brave and the Bold, number 54. Uh, this book is rat ass, have destroyed uh, first appearance of the Teen Titans, but I paid five bucks for it, no big deal. Uh, Brave and the Bold, number 85, first appearance of, uh, of uh, uh, Green Arrow's new costume and... and Beautiful Neil Adams cover. Uh, number 159. Brave and the Bold 200. First appearance of um, uh, Kitana. First appearance of the Outsiders. Wonderful looking wonderful looking cover. Really solid. Got two copies of that. And last but not least, uh, pay attention to this cover right here. Um, this is like around a $20, $30 book. Brave and the, Bo Brave and the Bold Volume 2. Number 33, uh, this is kind of like a prelude to The Killing Joke. So, um, a great cover with Wonder Woman, uh, Zaytana, and Batgirl. So, uh, be on the lookout when you, if, you, uh, if you go uh, comic book hunting. And that's my collection. Woo, we got through it all in under 40 minutes. Hell yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you next time.